And what are these things you can control? Well, it's going to be uh, the cost of goods, mm -hmm. and it's going to be cost of labor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, if you if you look into this, uh, can you talk a little bit about, let's say, cost of goods? What, what is your GP? Uh, do you want to share this with us? Uh, um, what is the ideal food cost that you're you're working towards, and and do you get there? Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of the industry traditionally has always, in our, on our side, has always been around sort of seventy thirty as a as an aim. Mm -hmm. We're around there. We're we're um, say give or take two percent. Uh, mm -hmm. It depends. A lot of it for us depends on specifically the cost of salmon. A huge yeah. proportion of our customer base eats salmon, same as okay, all around the world. It started off with tuna and then incredibly quickly it shifted to salmon, not just in the Nordics, but, but all over the world. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, that, and that's a really high cost. That, that cost yeah. is, is almost, it, it's been almost 300% increase since we opened the business. Yeah. Obviously, that's not something that we can push on to the consumer completely. No, no. So that's where, when you have those costs, that's where you also... It's not as easy as, okay, can we change the price? You don't want to change the, the quality. You don't want to change the customer experience by giving them less. So then you, you really try and look inside your operations to see, you know, where are the gains? What can we do mm -hmm. here? Um, so I think for, for cost of goods, that's always been our sort of main, uh, one of our main focuses, obviously, mm -hmm. on what can we, uh, what, what can we control? And, and all of that definitely comes down to people. It's at the end of the day, it's with as many locations you have. It's the people inside that are controlling Absolutely. the orders, they're controlling the consumption of the food. Um, and it's uh, that, that comes down to training and making sure that the teams are operating really well and that you've got mm -hmm. good oversights as well.